Hello everyone, my name is Adam and today I'll be bringing you along on another SCDF exercise, codename Exercise Carina. Our lifesavers from the 4th SCDF division will be responding to a simulated chemical agent release incident right here at the Woodlands Integrated Transport Hub. Now let's check it out. In today's scenario, a man leaves behind a bottle of an unknown liquid in a train before quickly alighting at Woodlands MRT station. Within moments, several people collapse and convulse uncontrollably. Others panic and start fleeing. An assistant station manager from SMRT is alerted to the incident, and he immediately reports to the passenger service centre. The air handling units are shut down to prevent the suspected chemical agent from spreading to other areas of the hub. SCDF is then promptly notified of the situation. SCDF resources soon arrive and are now in charge of managing this incident. The top priorities are to minimize the impact of the chemical release and to rescue the affected commuters. Firefighters are using detectors to locate the source of the toxic chemical release before covering it to minimize its spread. Meanwhile, other firefighters are conducting a rescue operation and evacuating the casualties to a safer location. SCDF's hazardous materials, or hazmat specialists, are deployed to collect samples of the chemical agent and to neutralize it. They are wearing high-performance suits, which offer them protection against the most aggressive chemicals and corrosive vapors. A casualty has also been found in direct contact with a chemical agent, and a few hazmat specialists are racing against time to stretcher him out of the danger zone for both medical assessment and decontamination. At the same time, other hazmat specialists neutralize the chemical release before decontaminating the affected area to remove any residues and their harmful effects. As the hazmat mitigation is ongoing, more SCDF responders arrive to support the rescue operation. They are donned in their nuclear, biological and chemical protective suits. The trademark grey attire that allows them to safely operate in a contaminated environment for a prolonged period. Aside from all these on-site actions, commanders also need to exercise effective command and control of the entire incident. This is done in the forward command vehicle, which is equipped with a slew of sense-making tools like a mega video wall that can display multiple sources of information and video feeds from the incident site. This will enhance decision-making for the commanders and improve the overall quality of incident management. Now, as all these on-site actions are happening fast and furious, it is also important to set up several control points to manage such a large-scale incident effectively. Let me show you some of these points. This is the forward triage point, where casualties are brought to be medically assessed based on their level of severity. Those with serious injuries are immediately treated on-site by paramedics before they are brought to the next station to be decontaminated. Here at the decontamination point, Casualties must be thoroughly decontaminated on-site to remove harmful chemicals from their bodies. Rescuers from SCDF's Special Rescue Unit operate the Mass Decontamination Vehicle to facilitate this process. At this vehicle, clothes are removed before the casualties are showered, dried and have their physical condition monitored. Within this purpose-built vehicle, there are eight shower cubicles to enable conscious casualties to wash off any contaminants on them. After the decontamination process, the casualties are channeled to the first aid point to be treated by the emergency medical services personnel. Those who require further medical attention are conveyed via ambulances to the hospitals. And that is a wrap for Exercise Karina. Now, such exercises are important for SCDF to test and validate its operational plans and response procedures, as well as to test the link-up between SCDF and its relevant stakeholders. 
Now, if you've enjoyed watching the video, make sure you hit the subscribe button to enjoy more great content from us. And if you're keen on a career in the life-saving force, make sure you watch this video to find out more about the different vocations in SCDF. Thank you for watching. Goodbye.